Hi, and welcome to Projects and Things. My name's Eve. In last week's episode, I made a cabinet with a reclaimed stained glass door, and I intentionally left an opening in the bottom of it. In that opening, I'm going to make a tiny mouse house that's gonna be the home of these little guys. And they're going to be the Helwin family, based on the names of the people I got the parts from the cabinet from, namely my friends Helena and Gerwin. This mouse house is going to be a small 30 centimeters by 40 centimeters box with a light up top, and you can see in it from the front through a peephole, essentially. So I did some work off camera, and I found some scrap plywoods that I'm going to use, a little bit of MDF for the sides and the back, and I went to the store to buy a small piece of glass so that my kids don't go in and steal the mice out of the house. The first step is to cut out the opening of the mouse house. The measurements of this house are based entirely on the size of the mice or actually rabbits in this case, that are going to live in the house. If you have bigger puppets, of course, you're going to have to build a bigger house, but this fits quite nicely underneath my cabinet. Then using my calipers, I measured the width of the plank so I could set the depth of my router. Then I routed out a square piece where the glass would fit in later. When all the pieces were cut, I just gave them a quick coat of primer. Now to get this primer dried as quickly as possible, I'm gonna use a trick I learned online by watching Adam Savage. For that, I stole my wife's hair dryer. I then marked off the lower third part of each plank where the paneling was going to come. And then my lovely wife took upon herself the task of painting on the wallpaper. My wife did a fantastic job last night and painted the wallpaper on these walls and now it's time to put some paneling on the lower third part of it. And since almost every country is going in lockdown, I'm going to try and make this mouse house as cozy as possible because these little fellows are going to be in there for a while. I took one piece of trim, I ran it over my router and cut a groove down the middle of it. And now I'm going to take a palm sander and smooth out the two edges to basically create the illusion of all these small planks. Then when all of that is done, it's going to be covered with a layer of stain and the very top part is going to be the second piece of trim. So now I have to start Sanding all these pieces.
I use a combination of wood glue and super glue to attach everything together. The super glue holds things in place while the actual wood glue dries and delivers the strength. Then I realized I messed up on the front part of this box. Uh, I ended up routering out the wrong part, then cutting the hole correctly and having to router a bit more. So now there's a good place to put in the glass, but it's kind of wobbly now. I hope to fix this when everything's glued together. And then the last bit I did was painted so it now matches the color of the cabinet. The next paint job is going to be the floorboard. I'm going to stain it and hopefully make it look more like an actual floor of a house. The stain made the plywood look more like flooring. And then I scored the board so I could give the illusion of individual floor planks. Then I glued all the parts of the box in place and clamped it up and it could stay overnight to dry. So it's starting to look like a thing now, but I thought it could need some coziness. So I found out actually that in the TV set, there's a lot more smaller pictures of sort of mice and rabbits doing all sorts of things. So I figured I'd take some leftover of the paneling wood and make small frames that are gonna get the same treatment as the paneling and put them up on the wall. For the lighting of this house, I used another piece of the LED power strip that also lights the rest of the cabinet. I wanted them to have indirect lighting, so I built a little frame on the back where the LED strip could hide behind. I taped off all the parts that were not supposed to shine and with the end tip I made a round type of chandelier, let's say. I super glued the small pictures to the wall and then I realized my mistake. With the house all glued up and drying, it was time for us to assemble this actual Sylvanian family toy and figure out how they were going to live in the house. One eternity later. With the placement found, I super glued all the parts into place so they would stay even if someone would kick the cabinet. This box gets powered along with the rest of my cabinet. So you have the main power that's going to be hooked up to the cabinet goes to a transformer and lowers the voltage for the LED strip. So we can get rid of this power plug.
I moved the box in place on the underside of the cabinet and all that was left to do was to plug in the power. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you like these things I do, then please consider subscribing. There's a button to do so below. There will be other videos all about making things. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time, bye.